Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to explore an abandoned bridge. It was built in the early 1900s. Um, supposedly, it's the last of its kind, um, the last to be structured that way. So um, I... It's, 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 it's only about 28 minutes from where we live. So it's Thanksgiving. We want to do something adventurous on top of Stuff Our Bellies Full. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. We're going to load up the GPS. We're going to drive 28 minutes there. So this was requested. Which way do I turn? Left is what it said. I turned left onto this? Okay, is that the bridge down there? It might be the bridge. Okay, so we're at the bridge. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get out and see what happens. See what happens. There's not a sign, and I I read online not to drive the car over the bridge. So can you take the keys out of the car? Yes. Five hundred dollar minimum fine for dumping or loitering. But we're not gonna or not loitering littering. Whoa, guys. This is really like. This is beautiful. The Look, the brick. You don't see bridges with that anymore. Nope. Look this at this, guys. And this used to be a, a railway, like, change track place. You're usually the one impressed by the abandoned stuff, but this is really cool. Today we are at the Thompson Railroad Bridge. It was built in 1919. It is one of the last of its kind in America because of the specific structure. And this is what's called a brick deck. And it's one of the last ones ever built. And it's also the last one still, like one of the last ones still standing, if not the last one still standing in America. And this is in Michigan. <laughs> now I'm not sure if I can get a view of the actual support structure, but the support structure is what actually makes this bridge so unique besides the brick deck uh, because they don't build with those structures anymore. Also, I mean, look at the sides of these guys. Look at the rust. Look at the decay on the concrete. Like come closer. Look at this. So this was all railways back in the day, way back in the day. You can see where the tracks were. They go straight through here, all the way over. But yeah, guys, this is absolutely amazing. It's, it's a very, very, I don't know. I just have that sense of adventure and I love to see places that are forgotten and gone. And this is one of them. This is, I live 28 minutes from here and I never even knew this was here. It's just absolutely amazing. And to know that it's one of the last of its kind, if not the last. It's amazing how crazy the world can change in a hundred years. This was built a hundred years ago. Man, what an amazing way to spend Thanksgiving. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all the litter down there. People are awful. So I can't get down to actually show you guys the support structures just because I can't get down there. I will go ahead and try to like go down to one side and show you, but just in case I can't, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a picture right here of um, what the support structure looks like and why it's so unique. Okay, so we're gonna go over the side here just to see if we can get a view of the structure without falling. It's very, 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 very far down. I can't. I can't get the angle I need. I can't get it. So I'm going to throw it up on the screen, which I probably already did. If not, here it is again. Is there anybody coming? All right, so this became a historic landmark in 1999, and it's absolutely beautiful. The scenes, like the views, guys, look at that. They just don't, oh God. And I can't get over this brick deck. Like, that's insane. Like, you don't see these anymore, like, ever. Like, that's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so 
we're sticking with the railroad theme today. It is Thanksgiving, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here to go have some Thanksgiving dinner with the family. And then we're going to hit up an old railroad track that used to run coal to Notre Dame University. So, we'll catch you soon. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, bro. Yeah. Can you see? No. I don't know how. Your eyes really open. I know, right? I know. You think you can see everything? I can touch my eye now. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on, look at me. I don't know where you're at. Oh, God. How? You have big eyes. Look at them pupils. I haven't, I haven't oh, watered the, they haven't gotten water in a while. You know, you look like you've seen some shit, bruh. I have. <laughs> oh, I Whoa, you took out your eyes. Oh, I can, I can't see anymore. Right there. We got the arts and crafts out here because we're, because we're putting Twinkle out for the Christmas time. So I'm making a bed. We're working on a quarantine center. Um, so. <laughs> Big sad. He's over there, like, like, okay, so this is where it's supposed to go. Uh, this is what I made. And yeah, wow, my brother just informed me it's not gonna fit. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm making caution tape. That's what I'm making, okay? Did good there. I did good there. But guys, I'm not really sure what happened over here. Okay, guys, so we're at Notre Dame. And we're gonna go find that trail. We can't see anything. Do you see that darkness straight ahead? That's where we're going. I can't see shit. Can you walk closer to me? I see you. You can't really see it. Those are old railroad tracks, guys. And hopefully we'll be able to still see them in the wood here. Oh, here they are. They've turned over time. Whoa. Can you? Are you aiming it? Is that the wood? Guys, the road is actually dipping. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but we're actually getting lower. But this is the old railroad tracks, guys. Supposedly haunted. There's another in the ground. I can't really see it though. That one's really, that one's really, really in there. Here's one, here's one. This thing right here. That's an old track right there too. In the ground right here. Guys, these are old tracks in the ground. So yeah, I know you can't see it at night, but this used to deliver coal to Notre Dame way back when. Back when coal was a main source of, of stuff. So yeah, guys, just a bunch of... Rob, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Can you guys see what's over there? Look at that. Doesn't that look like a figure? We're fucking going, come on. Careful, don't trip on anything. Should have done this during the day. Oh god. Oh my god. I can still hear it. Oh, come on. Do you have your inhaler with you? Do you have your inhaler with you? Use it as soon as we get to the entrance. We gotta go. I don't want that thing to catch up. I don't know what it was. Did you hear that? I'm gonna catch you guys when we're back in the car because we're leaving the woods. Okay. Guys, I have been down that thing a million times. I used to work with a client out here at Holy Cross Village and he loved walking down there. That's how I learned about it. And I've been there a million times. I've never went at night. And I 100% never believed anything was out there. And second of all, on our way here, two deer ran out in front of our car. Does anything look like it's... 
What? Nope. Rob doesn't like scary stuff. He won't even watch scary movies with me. <laughs> so the fact that he comes out and does this with me. It's love. I like the adrenaline. I like going to abandoned places and finding haunted stuff. But yeah, I, I don't know if that was. I don't know. I don't know what that was. You see anything? There was no lights at all. We, we couldn't see anything but a dark figure. But who would be out there? This is an old folks home. All right, we're back at the car, guys. So we'll catch you when we find some light. All right, guys, so we're leaving, but this is where we went. This around here is where you can find those tracks. Um, there's no signage, so if you go during the day, you can see a lot of history. We're probably going to come back during the day in another video just to show you guys during the day all of the history there. Um, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that dark, uh, and it was. So, yeah. So you can get some of these beautiful ass buildings. We really do live 10 minutes from Notre Dame, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. University of Notre Dame. Right there. Okay, guys. So, we just pulled up to our apartment. Thank God. And we were pretty silent on the way home because I think... What do you think? What? Like, what do you think it was security? Well... Well, if security was there, there's no way out down there except for, like, there's, like, wooden steps that were built that, like, go up to where it, like, is up there. No. But you think if it was security, they'd, if it was security, they'd have... Like, flashlights. Flashlights. And, or and at, how would they have been down there with no light? We couldn't even see. I was say, or at the very least, uh, hey, what you doing? And if it was an animal, wouldn't we have seen eyes? Yeah. So I, I honestly don't know. I, I felt like it's really cold as it is, but it's not like as cold as it yeah, has been. Yeah, when we got out of the car, we were like, the first thing that he said was, man, it's not as cold as it has been the last few nights we've been filming. Yeah. And, and then, then all of a sudden we get into the woods where the wind can't even hit us and we're both freezing. Yeah. And we don't run. He has asthma to the point when he walks upstairs, he has to use his inhaler. I am out of shape and an asthmatic. So, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. It could have been us. It could have just been us. I don't know. But, but like I said, I'm going to go back there during the day. I'm going to do an entire video on that area. I did try and search the, um, the haunting thing. Um, and I couldn't find anything else except for the first article I found on it. And there wasn't any specifics. They just said it was haunted. <laughs> and I've been there a million times and I've never like I've never went at night though yeah that worries me when it's just like hey it's haunted but we're not gonna tell you by what that is that is mm -mm. that's like danger don't go into this cave but we're not gonna tell you what's in the cave yeah and there's another place that's supposedly haunted at Notre Dame and um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because we are trying to figure out a way to go actually go explore it it's not abandoned um, obviously it's Notre Dame and it's like on campus. So yeah, that's something we're working on. We're working on another super awesome abandoned location. We want to go about this one legally though. So we contacted the owners of the property to see if we can get permission to go in there and film. So, um, when we get the okay for that, I will go ahead and put a video out announcing where we're going because it's pretty cool and it's a place a lot of people know of. So, fingers crossed for that. We'll try a few times. But um, other people have went there, so hopefully, you know, it'll be no different for us. But yeah, I think 
I think I'm gonna end the video there. So we got food to go. Today did not go as planned. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna eat dinner. And um, yeah. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell to get notified about my next video. And until next time, my guys, stay wild.